Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our very first comedian. She's been in burlesque festivals all around the country, including the All-Star Burlesque Festival. You've seen her at the Bridgetown Comedy Festival, and you're about to see her right now. A uh, big round of applause for Lucky Deluxe. Thank you. Big round of applause for Scout. Keep going for Scout. Oh, thank you guys so much for being here. You guys are like the candy sprinkles on the big pile of shit that's been my day. Thank you for being here. I had such a rough day. I talked to my dad on the phone today because my caller ID's fucked up. Thank you for the chuckles. That's great. I don't get along with my dad. He's a oh, he's such a homophobe. And I had this lesbian relationship once. Well, I dated a guy that owned a bunch of Cheryl Crow CDs. <laughs> Same thing. I actually uh, I actually just got dumped this week. Thank you for the sympathy. <laughs> Let's try that again. I just got dumped. Aww. You guys. I'm trying to work through the pain, though. I'm trying to constructively and creatively get over the anger of the breakup. So what I've been doing is writing poetry about how I feel about the breakup, and I have one poem with me. It's not done yet, but can I share with you guys what I have so far? Yeah. <clears throat> poem about the breakup. <clears throat> That's all I have so far. <laughs> I'm working on it. Right after I got dumped, I did what everybody does. I called my best friend looking for a little sympathy. Here's the thing. My best friend is engaged, and she's already in that bridal mentality where she can't focus on anything that's not her or the wedding for more than just a few seconds. So I called her up looking for sympathy, and I, I'm pouring my heart out about the whole breakup, telling her everything. She was like, oh, oh, that's too bad, but you know what? Me and Jimmy, we are so close. Oh my God, we are so in love. We're going to get married. <gasps> when we get married, you have got to be a bridesmaid. <laughs> oh, you got this comfort thing down pat. That's perfect. And you, you know what? When I blow my brains up from loneliness, splattering the walls of my studio apartment with gray matter and the stench of the unloved, oh my God, you have got to be a pallbearer. <laughs> It's okay to laugh, I'm just joking. <laughs> I joke out of jealousy, the worst type of jealousy. I'm so jealous of her. She has what I want. She has that long-term relationship, and that is what I want. I want the thing that goes the distance, you know? And it's not because I'm a romantic. I just really need a plan for the future. You know, I'm a comic. I don't have a 401k. My current retirement plan is prison. <laughs> oh yeah, when I feel the end is drawing nigh, I'm gonna kill a bitch in Florida. <laughs> I never have good luck with relationships. Like, I never ever have a boyfriend on Valentine's Day. So I've come up with this ritual, a way to make myself feel better about it. And what I do every Valentine's Day, I go to the grocery store, and I buy myself one of those heart-shaped boxes of chocolate. And then I go home and I get in my jammies and I put one Harry Met Sally on and then I burn myself with cigarettes for being so fat and unlovable. <laughs> it's fun. I should come over. I think my problem with it all is that I never know if I'm having a one night stand or starting a relationship. You know, I, I always leave it up to the guys. I always look to the guys for the cues. So fellas, I need you to help me out here, all right? If it's just gonna be a one night stand, you have to do me a favor afterwards and get the fuck out. Yes, be up, be out, get gone. You don't have to go home, but you really should not stay here. Cause here's the thing. If it's just a one night stand, there's gonna be no repeat performance. Don't sleep in my bed, it's not there for you, you know? Don't change a channel on my TV, you presumptuous motherfucker. That's not there for you either. And don't play string game with my cats. I don't want them getting attached. They're the real victims here. If it's just gonna be a one night stand, again, no repeat performance, honest to God, you don't even have to take your pants all the way off. All right, just drop them to your ankles, we'll take care of it on the couch, no harm, no foul. Because here's the thing, if you are in my bed when the sun rises, you are my boyfriend. <laughs> my Facebook status to reflect as much. <laughs> been lonely lately, so I've been uh, hitting the internet for the porn. 
Always good. I love porn. I do most types of porn. I don't like that girls gone wild. I don't like that. That's some bullshit porn, you know? Everybody knows that porn's no good if you can still see hope in the girl's eyes. <laughs> Thank you guys very much.